Well, happy Friday, Tennessee Valley. It's the day after Thanksgiving, so maybe it's a little slow go out there early this morning as you get ready to step out of the bed. But don't worry if you're getting ready to head out there and deal with the traffic and deal with the long lines at the stores. Hey, temperatures at least are a little warmer than where they were for our Thanksgiving morning. We're seeing these numbers about five to 10 degrees warmer than then. We're still chilly out there, though. 44 degrees currently in Chattanooga. We've got a feels like temperature of 41. That's thanks to a northeasterly wind around six. Thankfully, it's fairly light. If it was a little stronger, we'd have a much larger wind chill out there as well. Temperatures 39. Good morning to you in Cleveland. 39 in Blue Ridge, 38 in Murphy. I saw 39 degrees in Altamont. We've got 41 in Lafayette, 40 degrees in Fort Payne, and 43 in Scottsboro. Again, here in Chattanooga, we're sitting at a balmy 44 degrees. Again, that's right. November the 24th means that we're officially 31 days away from the big morning where it's time. Yeah, to get that Christmas presents open and to see what your family has gotten. But before we get there, you've got to actually get to the stores, right? And find those Black Friday deals. So let's talk about your forecast here uh, this morning. Cloudy and cold out there. There is a slight chance of a sprinkle or two. That's about all you're probably going to see on the windshield, but I do want to let you know there is at least that chance of a sprinkle uh, kind of dotting the windshield, but that's going to be about it. By lunchtime, we'll go with mostly cloudy skies. It should be dry by then with temperatures climbing into the mid 50s and we should be near 60 by this afternoon with clouds and sunshine kind of sneaking across the area. Here's a look at what we're expecting in your town as you're getting out and about. We're looking at about 59 in Dayton, about 58 in Murphy, 59 in Blue Ridge, 60 degrees for a high today in Scottsboro, 61. Yeah, 61 in Fort Payne for the warm spot, 60 in Dalton and 56 degrees for the cool spot in Altamont. Now, as we go towards tonight, we'll drop back down in the upper 30s to right around 40. So yes, it will be a chilly night, but overall a um, night that's going to be very similar to what we just experienced. Cloud cover pretty thick out there this morning, but again, notice precipitation. Uh, most of that is down to our south and east because of this area of high pressure brought, providing some drier air to the area. Our next weather maker is out towards the Rockies. That front will move our way and try to bring us a little precipitation for the second half of our weekend. But if you're out putting up some of those outside Christmas decorations for your Saturday, mostly sunny skies. That's your pick day of the weekend. Highs in the lower 60s. Sunday we'll see a few more clouds and yeah, a 30% chance of a few showers developing in the afternoon with highs cooler in the mid 50s. Let's talk about the next big thing. Here's that first system today staying to our south, but bringing us a few scattered clouds. Saturday, we're good with high pressure off to our north and east, but here comes that next front by Sunday, squeezing out any available moisture, but only a few isolated showers, and then we dry things out again heading into next week. Rainfall totals, oh, these are not going to do much. A trace to a tenth of an inch, it's not going to help the exceptional drought, and although we saw a decent amount of rainfall last week, with it being so dry coming up, that's only going to probably expand the drought conditions again. As far as temperatures go, a surge of mild air ahead of that front. And then yes, the overall pattern is colder air settling back into the Tennessee Valley as we go into next week. So let's take a look here at your uh, storm alert seven day forecast. You'll be able to see highs near 60 for your Black Friday. Again, that 20% is mainly for this morning with a slight chance of a sprinkle. Otherwise, look at that Saturday, Michelle. That's your pick day of the weekend. Low 60s with some sunshine before clouds return Sunday. A few showers late Sunday with that front and then colder struggling to get out of the 40s Monday and Tuesday. But look at those lows by Tuesday and Wednesday, Chattanooga upper 20s. Yeah, folks are going to reindeer on the landing tonight. Yeah. Um, probably a good idea to bundle up. Yes, yes. Make sure you bring it's sweater weather for sure. Maybe jacket weather for some. Mm -hmm. And of course, there's a time to wear those festive sweaters it and is. things. So it's, it's perfect for everybody. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. Cedric.